Once again, hello everybody. Mm, I'm Navid Mahamadzadeh and once again I'm coming here to represent another project which has been done in Politecnico di Milano by the MATLAB software uh, with combinations of graphic unit interface uh, which is an application of the MATLAB software. Uh, the, uh, this project is so-called MATLAB-based numerical approach for stride eight shape vertical axis spin turbine considered double multiple stream tube algorithms and uh, um, more detail about this project um, you can find more detail ab about this project in my channel uh, in YouTube CADMAC free online educations uh, okay let's see what we have done in this project is that implementing all the formulations and uh, the codes in the MATLAB as you see here okay and uh, also, we implement, uh, we, 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 we convert it to the graphic unit interface uh, by clicking run. Here is the new window that I have designed previously, okay? As you see in the left hand side, two vertical axes mean to align, one for residential application and one for industrial applications. Here are the, the boxes that you have to insert your inputs and these are the boxes that you you uh, it's your results okay uh, design properties of this uh, project has been considered as the blade is a Naka 0015 and the blade court can consider as the 0 0.05 um, times of the uh, ratio between diameter and net number of plates the height of the blade is considered also as a double of the rotor diameters uh, if I insert here for example wind velocity in the zone is 8 uh, meter per second and a lambda is 6 for example lambda is the ratio between the peripheral speed at tip of the blade uh, over the wind velocity and uh, here is the number of plates for example imagine it's 2 and the rotor diameter imagine is going to be 2 uh, for example, okay, and then push the bottom compute and okay, here is the result for this specific machine with uh, the zone velocity, the zone wind velocity 8 meter per second and number of plates 2 and rotor diameter 2 meters we can extract the power around 900 uh, kilowatt and the power coefficient of 0.37 approximately. Okay, uh, here is the message box that successful calculations. So please select record diagrams and wait for a while. Okay, here, uh, for example, I need angle of attack. I, I push the angle of attack and wait for some seconds. Okay, here is the diagrams which indicated the variation of the ang angle of attack in one rotational uh, one rotation of the uh, one blade okay uh, here is the Reynolds number as you see uh, okay very nice and the, the trust coefficient which is a very important characteristic for us because with this uh, a coefficient, with this coefficient we can design the beam of the okay a vertical axis wind turbine and the torque is very important for us because by the torque we can extract the power as you see here the first for for the um, around 90 degree we can extracting more power let's look and then we drop of extracting power and again in the um, downstream of the wind turbine we can also extracting a power uh, as you see if I want to change these numbers for example the zone changes to 10 meter per second lambda 6 for example number of blade if I increase number of blade to 2 to 3 and the rotor diameter for example to uh, 4 maybe somehow okay let's see how much power is changed okay and the power can be extracted from the machine is changed to 7300 kilowatts approximately and the power coefficient is increased to 0 0.30 approximately 9 
so again as you see here the torque diagrams and then and for example induction factor which is an, another important parameter in our calculation and designing okay induction factor here is the upstream induction factor and here is the downstream wind uh, the downstream of machine induction factor okay uh, so uh, you see that uh, by changing wind velocity or e even even by changing lambda uh, because lambda controls the rotation of speed uh, of the machine and and here if I increase the number of blade to four or five for example I can extract even in uh, eight to six maybe somehow seven meter per second of uh, wind velocity let's see how how, how can I how, how is it changed uh, okay it's changed to 2000 and okay approximately 2700 kilowatt power can be ex extracted by this machine so again lift lift coefficient for example here's a lift coefficient as you see uh, that's it. Thank you very much for watching this movie. Have a nice week and see you next time.